Welcome to the Jason Tawney Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with Jason Tawney, head coach of the baseball team. And, Coach, you guys get to open up you know, a week later than seasons past and uh, paid off for you in a couple of respects. The starting rotation had a stellar performance. Yeah, starting rotation was phenomenal this weekend. You know, we talked last week about the uh, – uh, the preview of the team, and so you know Dan Williams, uh, James Rosinski, and and Zach Kay. By the way, great name for a pitcher. His last name's Kay. Uh, all threw the ball really well. Uh, you know they threw 16 innings uh, this weekend and zero earned runs. Um, you know can't ask anything more out of them except uh, hopefully going a little bit longer in games as we get into the season. Uh, we had each of them on a pitch count. Mm-hmm. Um, you know which is what we traditionally do to to build their innings up. Uh, but uh, but very excited about the start, uh, you know, two sophomores and a freshman in our rotation. Very exciting uh, for longevity, too. Absolutely. You know? um, let's talk a little bit about some hitting. Uh, maybe some hitting struggles, but that's kind of sort of expected a little bit at this yeah, point in the season? Yeah, usually early in the season, pitching is ahead of, mm-hmm. of hitting, and, and we saw that this weekend. Our first game, um, we had a lot of nerves, and mm-hmm. I think every we have, we have a lot of new starters this year, so a lot of guys were a little nervous in that first game. We hit enough that we uh, – I think we had nine hits in the first game. Uh, we had enough to score enough runs. You know, we, we, we struggled with a couple uh, defensive uh, miscues. Second game hit the ball pretty well. Tough game in terms of uh, uh, the other team threw 214 pitches and 107 balls and 107 strikes. Hmm. Hard to get in the hitting group yeah. when there's that many balls being thrown. Uh, but uh, – and then on, uh, on Sunday uh, facing uh, Frostburg and facing their All-American pitcher. Uh, very strong, very difficult to hit. We actually squared the ball up off of them pretty well, uh, but still a, 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 tough, a, a, a tough go at it there. I will say as soon as he came out of the game, the first pitch their reliever threw, uh, Billy Small hit a ball about 450 feet to center field over the fence. So, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, there is, uh, there, there's the evidence for you right yeah. there. You know, you guys were swinging hard and dinging them just right at guys. Yeah, it, it, was, a, it was a struggle um, in terms of, of finding some holes. We, we did sting the ball a little bit. Uh, here and there, you know, we're not we're not as much of a power hitting team as mm-hmm. we were uh, in the past, but uh, we still have some power. Uh, I think we stole quite a few bases this weekend too. I think we had I think it was seven or eight stolen bases in three games. So our speed's coming through, which is what we were hoping uh, would occur as well. And you talked about those three starters not giving up an earned run. The unearned runs came on throwing errors, yeah. uh, just maybe rushing it a little bit. Yeah, you know, again, we have some we have some guys in new positions this year, and um, you know, a couple a couple tense plays early in the season, rushing a little bit. You know, we threw a couple balls away. Mm-hmm. Uh, really, did not do a bad job at physically fielding ground balls. Um, and that field, you know, Fayetteville's field is it's it, it's the Swamp Dogs field. It's um, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll take our home field. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Our home field's a little bit better. Uh, so we got a little, a couple tricky hops. There's some lips there, but uh, but in all in all, I think we did okay there. I'm more concerned about the positioning. We've had some uh, issues with uh, uh, with guys being in the right positions, and that's something we're going to address this week in practice. It's all things that you can work on, Correct. which is the positive of it. Well, I tell you, one of the best things we were talking about this on the way home in our coaches' meeting uh, after the uh, after the weekend. Um, everything we struggled with, we can improve on. Everything mm-hmm. we we didn't do well, we can get better at. It's not a talent issue. Mm-hmm. It's now a matter of having the proper practices and taking steps forward. And we're lucky this week. Uh, we practice Tuesday through Friday. Uh, all be outside. Yeah. Beautiful week coming up. So we'll, yeah. we're, we've our guys are planning to get a lot of work done. I think they were a little disappointed we weren't at least two and one, if not three and zero, oh this weekend. And you guys, uh, as we move forward into this weekend, after practicing outside, you never get to do that in yeah, February. That's great. Uh, you guys are going to be facing teams that are on their third leg. You know, playing their third game. You guys are the benefit of the schedule in your hand. Yeah, so, somehow that happened. That yeah. each game we're playing this weekend, uh, we'll, we'll probably be facing their third starter. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously we'll have our one, two, and three. And, and, and quite frankly, we think we have three aces. Mm-hmm. We think our top three pitchers are all number ones. Um, so, yeah, th- things look good, yeah, but it's the game of baseball. It yeah. looks great on paper. Yeah, We'll see how it works out. <laughs> it's a 40-game season <laughs> yeah. as it is. I mean, all of them count, especially in out-of-conference, getting you guys – prepared for the conference schedule you know you talked a little bit about facing their third starter what other things are you guys expecting heading into these games well I would expect that our defense plays a little bit better obviously as we're on the field more I think that's going to get better um, and I really expect our hitting to, mm-hmm. to step up um, you know like I said we showed glimpses this weekend of being really good and, and so we're going to get there uh, I think with the extra reps this week the extra uh, actually being on the field you know and I, I think that'll that'll help motivate some guys I think um 
when you see backup players that had some opportunities this weekend that played really well, that's going to motivate some starters. Um, our, our catching core did a phenomenal job this weekend, and I really think it's because we have three catchers that can start at any time. <laughs> any time. <laughs> makes, um, makes your decision harder, it but, does. <laughs> you know, when somebody struggles, it makes your decision a little bit Correct. easier. It does. Know? It does. You know, and, and we've got a junior, Jake Diamond, who's, who's returning for his third year. And he's our primary catcher at this mm -hmm. point, but um, – we have a sophomore and a freshman right behind him, yep. um, you know. And if you get, if you got to see us and see our infield outfield, you'll uh, everybody's jaws drop when they see uh, our freshman Alex Kidwaller throw the ball around the diamond. Uh, he's got probably maybe the best arm we've ever had as a catcher here. That's saying which something. Is, which is definitely saying something. <laughs> the couple guys we've had. Yeah. <laughs> well, coach, we wish you the best of luck heading into this week, and we look forward to that home opener coming down the line, so we can see that infield outfield routine. Yeah, that so sounds like a plan to me, and hopefully yeah. uh, next Monday. Um, we have this meeting. We'll be uh, what four and two, I'm three and zero this weekend. I'm hoping for it. <laughs> so we're looking for it. Yeah, good luck, Coach. Thank you. He's Jason Tawney. I'm Joe Wamba. This has been the Jason Tawney Show. <laughs>